It's the Sony ZV E10 and I'm excited to try it out. I've never really filmed with a camera, so this will be my first impression. I'm impressed they give you three cables for different countries. In Australia, we use this one type C USB cable the battery the charging pack and that's the camera it looks sleek it's lightweight and I just love everything about it so far I haven't tested it, but I'm going to charge it and I'll tell you my first impression. Right now I'm filming on my iPhone 14 Pro 256 GB. I've used this phone for every video that I've released on my YouTube channel and I've linked some accessories that have helped me produce my YouTube videos in the description of this video. So if you want to start your YouTube channel using your phone, I have everything that you need for you to get started. I've done that and I've grown my YouTube channel to what it is right now just using my phone, a tripod and a road mic that is linked in the description of this video. Let me check the camera and let you know how it will go. I'll film a bit of content with the camera just to let you know how it goes. Welcome! This video isn't about the camera but it's about God's provision. I wanted to get myself a camera for quite some time and I didn't have the money to get the camera but I asked God to give me a camera and around seven months ago I was blessed with a given chunk of money on my account I used that money to get a camera and get myself a computer and since then I've been consistent on this YouTube channel because that's what I wanted to do. I remember when I was praying to God asking him for a camera, I told him, God, that if you provide for me a camera, I'll be sure to create more content about you and also share the passion that I have for empowering young women like myself to pursue their dreams. And ever since then, I've learned how to use this camera and it's what I'm filming on right now. It's been such a journey. But to start creating content on my YouTube channel, I started with my iPhone. So this video is an indication that when you pray, believe that God is going to provide for you. Just as he did when I asked him to give me a camera. I was able to get myself this Sony ZV E10 and I've loved it ever since. It has a bit of issues when it comes to overheating, especially when we're in summer. Sometimes it would overheat and I would not be able to complete a video in one sitting. So I'd have to wait for it until it cools down. Then I could film the remaining parts of the video. But I've been able to create this content because I asked God to give me a camera. And tell me, how are you finding this footage? But if your goal is to start a YouTube channel, start with what you had. When I started my YouTube channel, I was using my iPhone. I was lucky to have a newer iPhone. It was an iPhone 14 Pro. Using my iPhone, I was able to grow my YouTube channel to around 400 subscribers. With this new camera, I've been able to add on another 380 subscribers because right now my subscriber count is around 780. I am happy that when I asked God to provide for me this camera, he was able to bring it through. This is what I've used and this is what has worked for me. Many times when I want to do something for God, I make a vow to him. If you've listened to my podcast, For His Glory, 
you will notice there's an episode called I made a vow to God. Many times when I'm making vows to God or promises, as I would say, I usually term them based on scripture. I quote a scripture and I ask God to provide based on the scripture because as we know, the Bible tells us every scripture written is breathed on by the spirit of God and his word will not return to him void. His word meaning the word of God will not return to him void. It will accomplish what it has been sent to do. So any word in the Bible, if you quote it as you pray, you're going to have that upper hand before God. I recall when I was asking him for a camera, my prayer was, God, if you provide me a camera that I can use to record YouTube videos, I'll be able to share more of your gospel. I'll be able to do more of the work that you're calling me to do. And truth be told, ever since I got this camera, I'm able to sit down and film these sit down videos. I'm able to release content that I know is edifying and inspiring to the young women I want to target. And I've seen the hand of God in what I'm doing. Because my goal was to glorify God in everything I do, he was able to give me that camera. For you, it might be anything that you're asking God for. If you could find a scripture to base in your prayers, your prayers will reach God and they will be listened to and he will reward you with what you want. As I can say, this camera has changed the way I create my content. I'm able to sit and have talk videos without worrying about the audio, without worrying about my phone getting full. And I've been consistent because my phone is freed from creating content. So nine months later, investing in this Sony ZV E10 or ZV E10 has been life changing in the sense that it has allowed me to do what God put on my heart to do. If you're any woman out there who wants to start yourself something and God has called you and you feel this conviction towards starting that's something that you want to start, my advice would be just do it. Do not wait for tomorrow. Just start with what you have. And when you obey God in that aspect of you having that small thing that you're starting with, he's going to give you more and more to show that he can supply all your needs. As it's written, do not undermine small beginnings. Everything that you see right now started from being a seed. When you plant a seed for a plant, that seed has to be buried in the ground. And science has it that when that seed is planted, it has to first die before it can sprout out and create a big tree or release the fruit that it's supposed to release. If you're in your season of waiting, if you're in your season of planting, or if you're in your season of putting in the hard work, do not become faint, do not lose your motivation, do not lose that zeal that God had put on your heart. Do not lose it because you're not seeing the seed develop. In due time, you reap the harvest. In due time, that seed will sprout out and you'll have the fruits of your labor. So do not undermine small beginnings. Start wherever you are and God will bless you. But understand that God wants you to do what he put you on this earth to do. For you to do it, you have to take that first step of doing it. Do not be like those guys in the parable of the talents whereby one of the guys buried his talent because he was scared of what he was going to find. He was scared of what his master would say if he had lost what he had invested in. Invest in yourself, take that first step and know that for you to get where you want to go, you have to make sure you start today. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Hopefully it has been a blessing to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hopefully we get to build this channel together. Bye for now and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.